Elvis Buzz Lumen film to have world premiere at Cannes Film Festival. Warner Brothers is hyping up its upcoming film Elvis with a premiere just as flashy as the titular singer. Deadline reports that the biopic about the famous king of rock and roll and his manager Colonel Tom Parker will premiere at the Cannes Film Festival, a month before its theatrical release. While no specific date has been set for Elvis's screenings, the festival will take place from May 17 through May 28. The premiere at the renowned festival is surely a win for director and writer Baz Luhrmann, as the film faced a number of delays due to the COVID-19 pandemic, along with lead actor Tom Hanks catching the virus just a few weeks before filming started. Though initially set to begin in March 2020, production was halted until September of that year, leading to cast members Maggie Gyllenhaal and Rufus Sewell dropping the project as a result of the shooting delays. Their roles as the titular singer's parents were recast with Helen Thompson and Richard Roxburgh. Elvis will chronicle the life and stardom of the musician Elvis Presley, including his relationship with Parker, who acted as the singer's sole representative for much of his career. Austin Butler and Hanks lead the cast as Presley and Parker respectively, and like any biopic, the cast is full of notable stars taking the role of important figures in the lead's life. The long cast includes Olivia de Jong as Priscilla Presley, Kelvin Harrison as B.B. King, David Wenham as Hank Snow, and David Gannon as Charlie Hodge, among many others portraying close friends, fellow musicians, and studio producers. Cannes Film Festival is one of the most exclusive festivals in the industry, due to their invitation-only selection. The festival invites films across a variety of genres, including documentaries, with selections coming from across the globe. Cannes has been held annually since 1946, save for its cancellation in 2020 due to the pandemic, which saw the delay and cancellation of many events due to public safety. The festival has become a particularly important showcase for European films and granting exposure to worldwide filmmakers. Due to the massive media exposure, it's become a well-known avenue for passing global distributors. Elvis will be distributed by Warner Brothers, who are recently coming off the success of DC superhero movie The Batman. Elvis's entrance into Cannes is a win for production and cast as the biopic finally premieres to the public. Elvis is set to hit theaters on June 24. Star Trek Strange New World Season 2 casts Paul Wesley as James T. Paul Wesley is boldly going where no modern Star Trek star has gone before. Paramount has announced that the Vampire Diaries star is set to play James T. Kirk in Season 2 of Star Trek, Strange New Worlds, which is currently in production in Toronto. While the show's first season has yet to premiere, dropping on Paramount Plus on May 5th, Wesley's casting as the famous USS. Enterprise Captain is a massive one, as it marks the character's first appearance on television since the character's initial rise to popularity. Wesley is the third actor to play the role of James Kirk, after William Shatner originated the role in the original Star Trek series in the 60s, and Chris Pine took up the mantle for J.J. Abrams rebooted film in 2009. Paul is an accomplished actor, an astonishing presence and a welcome key addition to the show, said executive producers Alex Kurtzman, Akiva Goldsman, and Henry Alonso Myers in a statement. Like all of us, he is a lifelong Star Trek fan and we are excited by his interpretation of this iconic role. Strange New Worlds is one of a number of Star Trek series currently being produced by Paramount+, Plus, which also hosts Star Trek, Picard, Star Trek, Discovery, and Star Trek, Prodigy, among others. The series takes the Star Trek, how many times can we say that name in one article, franchise back to its roots, following Anson Mount as Captain Christopher Pike and the initial crew of the USS. Enterprise before the helm is given to James Kirk, who would become its most famous captain. Following an episodic format closer to that of the original series, the upcoming Paramount Plus show will see Pike, science officer Spock, Ethan Peck, and number one, Rebecca Roman, as they explore strange new worlds, a play on the original monologue made famous by Star Trek's success in the 1960s. It is unknown what role Kirk will serve in the new show, 
but considering it is set to serve as both a spin-off of Discovery and a prequel to the franchise's original series, fans can anticipate something similar to Kirk's introduction in the 2009 Star Trek film, as he works his way up the ranks of Starfleet and eventually takes control of the Enterprise as captain. Season 1 of Star Trek – Strange New Worlds premieres on Paramount Plus on May 5th. Season 2 has yet to announce a release date. Immigrant Juliet Lewis joins Kumail Nanjiani and Dan Stevens in Hulu Limited series. Hulu's upcoming TV show, Immigrant, Working Title, continues to add to its impressive lineup of cast members. Juliet Lewis is the latest of Hollywood's best and brightest to join the ranks of the upcoming limited series from Robert Ziegel, creator of Pam and Tommy. From male strippers to a murder plot, Immigrant is set to tell a wild story of crime, dark comedy and deception in its exploration of Sum and Steve Banerjee's path to starting the stripper troupe, Chippendales. Kumail Nanjiani, who recently played Kingo in Marvel's Eternals, has been tapped to the play Banerjee, an Indian-American entrepreneur who immigrated to the United States in the pursuit of fortune and greener pastures. Immigrant will not only explore Banerjee's journey to the top, but it will also dive into his complicated relationships with those around him who helped make Chippendales a massive success, and his eventual and chaotic fall from grace. Lewis has been cast as Denise, a straight-talking Chippendales groupie who gains the trust of Nick DeNoyer, the troupe's choreographer, and becomes his loyal right-hand consiglia. Nick DeNoyer is set to be played by Murray Bartlett who recently earned acclaim and applause for his role as Armand on the hit TV show The White Lotus. Lewis is certainly an excellent addition to the already impressive roster for the show. Besides Nanjiani, Lewis, and Bartlett, the show's growing cast already includes Dan Stevens, Nicola Peltz, Anna Lee Ashford, Andrew Rannells, Robin De Jesus, and Quentin Player. The actress is widely recognized for her roles in Natural Born Killers, The Act, From Dusk Till Dawn, What's Eating Gilbert Grape and more recently, Breaking News in Yuba County, where she appeared opposite Mila Kunis, Aquafina, Regina Hall, and Alison Yanni. She also recently appeared in Yellow Jackets, which has been renewed for a second season on Showtime. Ziegel will serve as showrunner alongside Jenny Connor while Ramin Barani will direct the show. Ziegel, Connor, Barney, and Nanjiani will serve as executive producers alongside Emily V. Gordon, Nora Silver, Dylan Sellers, and Rajiv Joseph who will pen the show with Mir Sethi. Jackie Rivera is also on board as a co-executive producer while Annie Wyman is co-producer. Twitter is pointing out the obvious similarities between Ms. Marvel and Green Lantern. with the first trailer for Ms. Marvel having just dropped, comic fans are pointing out the similarities between the newest Disney Plus superhero and the DC comic book character Green Lantern. In the original Marvel comics, Kamala Khan does not need a piece of jewelry to evoke her powers the way Green Lantern does, but some are pointing to Iman Vellani's iteration of the character sporting what looks like a magical bracelet as evidence that Marvel is switching up Kamala's abilities on the new show. Another Twitter user imagined Green Lantern venting his frustration on the morning radio show The Breakfast Club after watching the trailer. We don't necessarily have the full story about the extent to which Kamala's polymorphous powers will differ from the comics in Ms. Marvel, but it's one fan's fear that the Disney Plus show will not do justice to the character's embiggening abilities. In the comics, Kamala can change the size of her entire body from very small to very large, and even paper thin at times. Another comic fan fears the MCU's version of Ms. Marvel won't do her justice if the changes to her powers are as vast as they appear to be in the trailer. Many fans are associating Green Lantern, who in the DC Comics sports a power ring to will into existence energy construct creations, to Marvel's Ms. Marvel coming off the heels of the trailer. Some are even calling it the Green Lantern show. Don't get us wrong, there are still plenty of people out there who have expressed excitement for the show. And to be fair, we only saw tidbits of the nature of Khan's powers, so there could possibly be more to the story than first meets the eye. Ms. 
Marvel will land on Disney Plus June 8. Ok stay tuned to our channel. I'll be providing you with up-to-date reliable movie news, enjoy!